one. Last section is simplify fractional exponents type one. Okay, so we're gonna have to express 72 to the power of one fourth in simplest radical form. So I guess now we're just dealing with numbers instead of, uh, what's it called? Instead of just with variables. So we're gonna express it in radical form. Let's first turn it into a radical before simplifying. So what goes inside a radical is just the base number. So 72. And then we have this one on top which means you're gonna raise 72 to the one power, so 72 to the power of one, and then this four on the bottom, so one fourth, so that four, the denominator, that's going to be the root number. So it's the fourth root of 72 to the power of one. Okay, so this is possibly not yet simplified. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure out, um, figure out how to simplify it. Okay, so let's simplify this. So we have the fourth root of 72 to the power of one. You have to think about what are the factors of 72. Um, and I think, hmm, okay. So you can think about like what two to the power of four is, for example. So two to the power of four is 16. And then you can wonder to yourself, does 16 fit in 72? So let's see, 72 divided by 16 gives us 4.5. So it doesn't fit in perfectly. So you can't, you can't put a uh, 16 perfectly into 72. So that's one of the fourth roots that we don't have to think about anymore. What about three to the power of four? Three to the power of four is 81. And 81 will not fit into 72. <laughs> okay, so 72 divided by 81 is not gonna be a whole number. So then in that case, I guess 70 or the fourth root of 72 is already as simplified as we can be. Because if I try four to the power of four, that's gonna be even larger. Five to the power of four is gonna be even larger. Um, and why am I trying everything to the power of four is because we have a fourth root here. So I just want to see if we can take out any of those numbers from the 72. So I tried two to the power of four, three to the power of four, four to the power of four, five to the power of four, all because we are looking at a fourth root. But since none of those fit into 72, we're good. We're simplified. So once again, because of the fourth root, I tried like these little small numbers to the power of four to see if we can take any of those out but it turns out we can't. So this is our most simplified form. Then we're gonna enter in the fourth root of 72. I think this will be clearer after we find an example where we can simplify it. But for now, are there any questions? I'm gonna pause the video. Let's enter in the fourth root of 72. So you press the nth root button and then 72 on the inside. Okay, let's do another problem. Okay, I guess this one's 15 to the power of one half in simplest radical form. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So we have a radical. What number goes inside of the radical is the 15. And where does this one go? It's 15 to the power of one. Where does the two go? It's the root number. Oh, sorry, I don't know how that little mark appeared. Sometimes my hand just touches the screen and then it makes a mark. So we have 15 to the power of one and it's inside of a second root. So square root of 15. Okay, so then we're gonna think to ourselves, can we simplify the square root of 15? Um, hopefully you know that we cannot simplify the square root of 15, but if we were trying to do the process that we were looking at earlier, well, it's a square root, so you can think to yourself, two squared, that's four. Four doesn't fit into 15, so we can uh, get rid of that option. 
So once again, it's a square root, so let's try three squared. Three squared is nine. Nine also does not fit into 15, so we can get rid of that option. Okay, so let's try four squared. Four squared is 16, and 16 is bigger than 15, so it's really not gonna fit. So then, since we can't fit any of these perfect squares into 15, this is as simplified as it gets. So we have square root of 15. Any questions on this one? I'll pause the video. All right, let's go ahead and enter this in. Okay, another problem. 24 to the power of one third in simplest radical form. So 24 goes inside of our radical and the one as the numerator is 24 to the power of one and the three in the denominator means it's the third root. So we have the third root of 24. Okay, so now let's see if we can simplify this. So and let me just rewrite it. Okay, so the third root of 24. So once again, we're doing a third root. So I'm gonna try two to the power of three. Two to the power of three is eight. Does eight fit into 24? And finally, there's something simplifiable because 24 divided by eight is three. So yes, eight finally fits into 24. I can simplify something for you guys. So I'm gonna rewrite this as um, instead of 24 on the inside, I'm gonna write it as eight times three because eight times three is um, 24. So I just rewrote 24 as eight times three. And I'm gonna split this up into two radicals. So this is the cubic root of eight times the cubic root of three. Why did I split it up into two radicals? Because this piece, this cubic root of eight, that's two because two cubed is eight. So the cubic root of eight is now going to give us two. So this becomes two times the cubic root of three. So our final answer would be two times the cubic root of three. You don't have to write the multiplying symbol, but it's two times the cubic root of three. So finally, I got to simplify something for you guys. Um, just to sum it up again, it's a cubic root. So I'm gonna check all the like cubes. So I tried two cubed and two cubed gave, gave us eight. 24 divided by eight gives us three. So that means eight does fit into 24. Eight fits into 24. And so we rewrite the 24 as eight times three. Then we split up the radical into two radicals, cubic root of eight times cubic root of three. The cubic root of eight becomes two because like we said, two cubed is eight. So the cubic root of eight is two. And so finally our answer is two times the cubic root of three. Are there any questions? I'm gonna pause the video. So two times the cubic root of three. Two times the cubic root of three. So notice I don't have to type the multiplication. All right, so that was uh, three examples for this topic. If you guys need more, just call me over into your breakout room, okay? I'm gonna end the video now.